last time on Wasteland Active Radio. All Dash wants to battle stations! We're under attack from the West! Backlund's army on Super Mutants is charging the camp! All Dash wants to battle stations! Stick together until you can regroup with your units. I need to take control of this situation. Ah, oh, Atlas! Funny meeting you here with all of your well-armed friends. What a shame I can't stay. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> Get back here, Garrett. You're not making it out of this battle alive. Atlas, wait. Come on, let's go after them. Here we are. Atlas, you and your friends are welcome inside. Be sure to wipe your feet. <laughs> you coward. Get back here! Oh, what the hell is this? A door in the mountainside? <laughs> Welcome to Macklin's compound, Atlas. I'll give you a tour. Follow me. Yes, yes. All of you, gather on the bridge, please. Wait, stop it. It's... Hello, hello. Watch your step. So long! Devious <laughs> uh, rats! Uh, <laughs> I'm too far! I can't I'm make it! To <laughs> Johnny! Right. We need to be careful and just try to avoid it. Oof! Huh? Mark, where are you going? Wait a minute! Who are you? Uh, I'm. Me, Crunchy. Me, Super Mutant. What you two doing here? You bring human to Macklin. Get big and strong like rest of brothers. Okay. How crunchy get there? Follow yellow line on wall. It go to Macklin throne room. Yeah. Don't follow red line. Red line lead outside. Oh, jeez. What happened? Unexpected descent of 413 feet. Oh, thank goodness. Huh? I seem to be relatively unharmed. What about my suit? Hmm. The emergency manual release is busted. Not a big deal. The electronic release still works, so I can abandon the suit if I need to. Bucket, status report. Acknowledged. Minor damage to chassis. Hover jet fuel reserves at 50% after emergency descent procedures. Okay. Could be worse. Let's try and find a way out of here, Bucket. Affirmative. Aha! An elevator! Let's hope it still works. <laughs> you funny robot! <laughs> you think Macklin let us keep it? I don't know. Maybe we keep robot here. So Macklin don't know. Macklin already knows. There is nothing we can hide from Macklin. Hey, Atlas! What are you thinking? Running off with your own in this hellhole? Are you trying to get us both? The sooner we kill Garrett, the better. We can't allow him to acquire a stealth boy. If he gets his hands on one, we'll never see him coming. Neither of you will be leaving this ravine alive. Hope you're not afraid of heights. My eye! You bitch!
just lay there and die, Atlas. I'll serve your head to Macklin on a platter made of your bones! You're not the only one with a secret weapon! What? Chest laser? Camel! Fire! Once we have their attention, we'll split on either side and attempt to circle around the enemy to force them into their own trap. We'll only go inside as a last resort. Do we have enough troops to pull something like that off? Not without regrouping. Gather your troops, Major Walsh. We're gonna go get the rest and start our maneuver. Let's go. Oh, yes, sir! What the hell? Vertebrates! General, did you secure air support? No, I didn't. Let's hope they're on our side. Well, here's the top floor. Come on, Bucket. Johnny, Bucket. Crispy, Dave. Ah, Johnny! <laughs> You're alive! Shoban, Atlas, what happened to you? We ran into Garrett. We won't be seeing him again. <laughs> Atlas, you finally arrived. Welcome to the heart of my empire. Macklin, I've come to make good on my promise. Holy shit. I thought you said he was a nightkin, not a behemoth or, or whatever the hell he's supposed to be. I've been indulging myself in my new doses of my new strain of FEV. It has enhanced me in both body and mind. You're an immobile pile of blue flesh. What part of that implies an enhanced body? That's enough! Leave Atlas alone! Foolish child! You know not what forces you trifle with! Witness my power! What? Wait! My fusion core is overheating! It's gonna blow! Move! Everybody! Get out of there, Johnny! I can't! The manual release is broken! Without power, I'm trapped! Sudden propulsion detected. Activated. Bucket! He fell into that vat! My FEV! No matter. Such a small contamination should have no ill effect. Oh god, this is all going to hell. I knew we should have run! It would do you no good. Right now, my forces are driving your allies into my stronghold. Once we have the majority contained within, we'll remotely lock the doors, trapping them inside. We'll then activate the fire suppression system, which will draw from that very vat of FEV. Everyone inside of my mountain stronghold will receive a massive dose of the forced evolutionary virus. They shall either die or mutate and fall under my control. My head! Make the pain stop! Fight through it, Atlas. You can do it. It's no use resisting, Atlas. You will die a slow, agonizing death as my superior mind ravages your room. However, I can still see your value. Atlas, I have developed a new strain of FEV. Testing has shown 
that those exposed have a 60% rate of successful mutation. Submit to me, Atlas. Submit, and I'll end your suffering. <laughs> Please! Atlas? Good. Now show me your conviction. Kill the ghoul. What? Your kind is unaffected by the forced evolutionary virus. You are irrelevant and will only hinder my plans. Kill him, Atlas. Kill him and your pain will end. Ghoul. I need you to trust me. Forgive me! Whoa! Atlas! What are you doing? Uh, Atlas! What the fuck are you thinking? Atlas! Don't! Hello! I'm sorry! Atlas! Very good, Atlas. I knew you would make the correct decision. My victory is at hand. We need only wait for the mercenaries to be trapped inside my stronghold. I have won! I shall conquer all! All hail, Macklin! <laughs> Hello! I did what I had to do. There was no other way. So you decided to kill our friend? Crispy was your friend, Atlas! We're getting nowhere! I'm getting you out of there, Johnny! Baldy! Help me out here! Hello. Well done, Atlas. Now that you know resistance is futile, you can be welcomed back into the fold as my servant. My victory grows ever closer. The mercenaries are being forced to fall back into my stronghold. Soon I shall enact my plan, wiping out my enemy and bolstering my army in one fell sweep. Bend to my will, minions. Show me the battlefield. Fall back, man. Keep our line tight. Nothing gets past us. Man, any news on those vertebrates? The last message we received said they were with the Brotherhood of Steel. What the hell are they doing here? Hey, as long as they're fighting the mutants. They're all right in my book. Focus, man. Keep firing. Major, we, we're coming up on the cavalry. Major, the cavalry. They've been torn apart. Damn it. General, this is Major Sterling calling General Roosevelt. What is your status? Over. Major, the super mutants have been dealt with. They're falling back. Jesus. Look at all these dead mutants. At least these boys went down fighting. General Roosevelt, what is your status? That'll be enough, Major. I'm over here. General, men, help me out over here. Boy, are we happy to see all of y'all. They had us surrounded. We were attacked by sappers. They rushed in and blew themselves up with many nukes. We're lucky to be alive. General, your leg is... Mangled, yes. I'm probably going to need an amputator. That's not important right now. We need to get to a more secure position. I've got you, General. Let's get you out of here. Thank you, Private Smoker. You remember me? Of course. <clears throat> now... <gasps> Everybody, up the hill. We're going to take shelter in the interest of the enemy stronghold. Yes, sir! You heard him. Let's move out. Sir, we spotted more super mutants approaching from the rear. Keep moving. 
The tunnel is just up ahead. We'll get the general inside safely. We need to hold this entrance. I need ammo. Sir, with all due respect, you're in no shape to fight. My troops and I will hold the entrance. No. I need to... I need a medic. Right here, sir. Get the general in the tunnel. Now. Yes, sir. We've got your back, Major Sterling. Thanks, Smokey. All right, my fellow Dashwoods. The medic inside this tunnel is fixing up the general. The general and the cavalry fought hard and took out dozens of mutants on their own. The general is our leader, and we need him alive. Macklin's super mutants want him and all of us dead. We're not going to let them do that. We're going to stand here and fight against these monsters. We're going to stop them from turning the people of this world into super mutants. We're going to stand here and fight. We are going to hold this line. Nothing gets past us. Dashwoods, stand proud. <laughs> That's the last one. Good work, everybody. Thank you, Captain Young. We're prepared to regroup with the rest of the Dashwoods. All right. Let's get the general on the horn. General Roosevelt, this is Captain Young. We just collapsed the last of the Mark Tunnels. We're moving to regroup. Over. General Roosevelt. This is Captain Young. Come in. Over. Oh, I'm desperate for it. More. More fuel for the fire. I shall become the sun. Ah. It's gonna be bop 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 bop. Oh, man. This isn't good. <sighs> Colonel Graham. This is Captain Young. Do you read me? Over. The Reaper is present. Colonel, do your troops got that peepers on the general? Over. One moment. We're still sending the last few struggling souls back to the void. I have eyes on the remains of the cavalry. And the general, he's alive, being carried into the enemy stronghold. Uptime Supremes is approaching. It's a large crowd. They'll likely die without a Understood, Colonel. We got mortars that can be up in less than a minute, but we'll need someone to spot for us. The enemy's rear line is two and a half clicks northwest of your position. Wind is blowing northeast. All right, let's get those boom tubes seated. Two slaps and a tap to your left ear, cats and kittens. Locked and loaded, Captain. Fire! Yeah! Keep firing and adjust every third shot. We're gonna burn this candle from both ends. We'll continue to provide support for as long as we can. Continue to rain death on our enemies, Captain. Over. Understood, Colonel. Over. Keep it up, wrecking crew. We're taking out the back line while we help our friends get the general to safety. Yes, sir! <laughs> Captain Badger friend, requesting permission to go and burn the enemy! They're two miles away and we're bombarding them. There's no way you'd be able to make it in any decent amount of time. To make matters worse, you're almost out of ammo. Request denied. Please! I wanna go! Uh, fine. Here. I was holding on to these in case things went south. <gasps> A gift of fire juice, a feast for my dragon, fuel for my flamer, death to our enemies!
It's time to continue our raging tide of flame. Burn it all. <laughs> All right, let's keep firing on the enemy and try not to hit Donnie. Let's hope we can help the general with this. Hang in there, everybody. We have managed to survive the tide of the Flagathon once again. Our enemies shall serve as fertilizer for the land, bringing life where there was once only death. <laughs> we sure did. Well done, everybody. Yeah! Has the general been secured, Colonel? The general is now safe within the rocky tomb of the mountain complex. We shall continue to provide support from our position. Colonel, the moose man that entered the fray has finally been killed. Two super mutant behemoths have managed to overwhelm the Moose Man, and they're now joining with the mutants going after the General's group. Damn thing took out two behemoths on its own. Thing probably would have kept going if it hadn't been overwhelmed. Colonel, there's no way they have enough firepower to deal with those behemoths. Even with the demolitions team providing artillery support, those mutants are going to overwhelm the General's troops. You are correct. The Reaper has sent his legs. Sniper team, it's time for us to break down the sword of Democles on the head of our enemies. We will harvest the lives of our foes and usher them into the inky black darkness of death. Heft your sides, aim your behemoths, rain death upon them. The general is counting on us. Our allies are counting on us. The entire wasteland is counting on us to stop this army. We're not going to let them down. Take aim, Dashwoods. Let's show them what we're made of. Uh, Colonel, another wave of super mutants are gathering at the base of opposition. They're about to charge. Colonel, we can't focus on the behemoths and the mutants about to attack us. If the behemoths get to the general's troops, they're dead. We won't do much better if those mutants reach us. My order still stands. Focus on the behemoths. Tin Smith? What's your order, Colonel? Up for a little competition? <laughs> you think you can take out more of those super mutants than I can? Remember what happened last time we competed? You're cocky, Jessica. Let's see if you can still keep up that pace. <laughs> You're about to see lightning strike twice, Kelly. Then let the Reaper take this approaching horde. It's no use! I can't get out! I can open your power armor, Jonathan. I can get you out of there. Hello! So he can be exposed to that green shit too? Ooh, stay the fuck back! I am trying to help you. Like you helped Crispy? I understand you're upset. But I need you to trust me if we're going to get out of this alive. Now. Let me assist you. Hello? Stay the fuck back! Stay away from him! We'll do it! We'll shoot you! If we have to! Hello? I, uh, I'd actually like to get out of here, please. You want us to trust you after you just threw with me off the catwalk? Do you honestly think we'd be stupid enough to let you anywhere near us? We trusted you!
grateful that you kill your friends at the drop of a hat? We could have killed that blob up there and stopped it. He isn't even guarded. I understand you're all upset, but this isn't what it looks like. Yes, I threw the ghoul- Say his name. He's not just some random person you threw over to their death. He was your friend. It's because of him that Sterling decided to trust you and let you in. Yes, you're right. I threw Crispy off the catwalk, but it was all part of a plan. He isn't- All my pieces are in place. Despite the flailing of the soon-to-be-dead, all will fall before my might. Your allies are already filing into my compound. Soon it will be time to activate the fire suppression system, giving all within its reach a hefty dose of the forced evolutionary virus. Those who die will make way for those who will mutate and join my army. My genius knows no bounds. My might shall never wane. This world is already mine. You can all just sit and watch while your world crumbles down around you. All right, Dave. I'm gonna go up and kill that piece of shit. I don't know if he has any way to defend himself. So I'm gonna need you to cover me. Understand? Hello. I heard you. But please, for all our sakes, especially your own, we're- You don't get a say in this, traitor! Shoban, please don't do this. We don't know what he's capable of. Please, don't just charge in. I'm begging you. Please don't. I'm sorry, Johnny. You'll get no further than this, human. <laughs> Do you think I would truly leave myself unguarded? <laughs> no matter. Let her live. I like that ferocity. She'll be much more valuable as a super mutant. Huh, you're lucky, human. Soon you will join us or die. God damn it! Let me go! I just... I just saved you from being killed by Nightkin. I'm not trying to hurt or kill you. Stop struggling. I'm trying to help you. Why? That's if... Let me go, fuckwit! Please! I am begging you! Trust me! The time is here! Your allies are about to be trapped inside and given the gift of perfection! My minions, it is time! Close the gates! Trap the humans inside! Activate the fire suppression system. Macklin, before you do this, there is something you should hear. Please, allow me to speak. One last attempt to sway me. It is futile, but I shall humor you. Continue. Thank you. <clears throat> Jonathan? Shoban, Dave, we've all come so far in our travels together. Jonathan, when I first met you, I knew you were highly intelligent and resourceful, but I couldn't help but feel that your compassion would be your downfall. However, 
I've seen just how resilient you can be, and I admire your dedication. Atlas? Shoban, when we first met, I saw you as nothing more than a savage raider and treated you as such. However, I soon saw your compassion and humanity. You're incredibly talented and have a stronger moral compass than I initially believed. Big talk for a traitor! Dave, when I first met you, I, uh, you were impertinent and hard-headed. Not literally hard-headed. Your head is quite soft after you were bludgeoned. That aside, you've shown yourself to be loyal and... Uh, good with a gun? That's... something. Hello? Is there a point to this atlas? Yes, there is. This has been a long, circuitous journey, where our lives were often at risk and the odds were against us. We've all grown significantly in our time together, and I trade it for nothing. More importantly, I wish... Could have spent more time together and uh, our ghoul. I can't keep prattling on like this. Are you finished? Ah, I was hoping to be more subtle, but if we're out of time, fire in the hall. Whoa, whoa, wait! He's not dead. Hello. I can't tell what's going on. Did something just explode? No! My FEV! What have you done? Ugh. My minions, quickly! Stop the tank from draining! My plan must be complete! Without the FEV, our goal is unattainable! Yes, Master! Stop the leak! Showbot! Dave, stop them! I'll break Jonathan out of his suit! Go! Fucking finally! Where do you think you're going? Hello? Hello! Jonathan, be prepared to fight! You're free! Go! Yes! Shoban! Duck! <coughs> oh! Impudent words! Out of my way! Oh, ah, you're not going anywhere! I'm tired of this fucking war! Just die already! Wow! Curse you all! I'm saving this plan! Now, for the finishing blow! <laughs> Macklin, your time has come! Don't! 
more. I'd crush your skull between my hands, Macklin. But first, come on, fire! Goodbye, Macklin. Finally over. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Finally. That's for Station Hell, you piece of shit. Woo. Impact tap detected. Did, did. Hey, Bucket's alive. Thank goodness. Ah, bad news though. He's plugging up the tank. We gotta get him out of there. We want to finish draining the stuff. Organizing death as your body partially mutates into a form incapable of maintaining life. Yeah, I'd rather not deal with either of those outcomes. Hmm. Hello. Crispy, how are you able to stay down there without touching the FEV pool? Uh, yeah, that's another less pressing problem. I'm standing on a barrel. Can I get a lift up? Here! There's a spool of hose we can lower down to him. Grab on, Crispy! Uh, got it! Cool! Johnny, Dave, give me a hand here. <laughs> there we go! How do we- Whoa! Johnny, hug out of nowhere. What's up, kid? I thought you were dead. Yeah! How'd you survive that fall anyway? I landed on a pile of hoses. Got the wind knocked out of me. My back hurts, and I can't breathe. Johnny! Oh, so sorry. <laughs> it's all good, kid. Glad to see all of you alive. How the hell did you plant that, Atlas? I noticed the pile of hoses while I was keeled over in pain. I trusted the ghoul was intelligent enough to determine why I threw him down there and act accordingly. I'm pleased to say that my faith was not misplaced. Yeah, you scared the shit out of me, though. Good thing I held on to Miller's grenade belt, otherwise I don't think I would have been able to stop that mess. Good job distracting Macklin and his goons, though. You really had us fooled into thinking you killed Crispy, Atlas. I was genuinely angry. Yeah, I really thought you straight up killed him. Glad you're okay, Crispy. Thanks, kid. Glad I'm okay, too. But how are we going to get Bucket out of the vat? Bucket! Status report! Multiple errors detected. Internal no component net net saturation at unsafe levels. Pro processor. I'm submerged in a vat of liquid quick quick. There are more errors in this than days in the year. Is your mobility jet functioning? Negative. What about your arms? Can you dislodge yourself with them? Arms unresponsive. Okay, what if we get some rope or chains and try to loop it around? We, we both know what needs to be done. Activate my self-destruct pro protocol. The resulting explosion will remove my corpse from the vat and allow the fluid to drain unhindered. But Jonathan disabled your self-destruct function. No, I didn't. I just buried them. Oh shit, are they bombing this place? It wouldn't surprise me. I don't know how much it will take for them to collapse this complex. We need to get out of here before the ceiling comes down on us. Johnny, what should we do? 
We probably don't have a lot of time. I don't think we have much of a choice anymore. Bucket, access power source temperature regulation program. Deactivate temperature regulation. Affirmative, Tiv. The temperature regulation no, no longer active. Bucket, run protocol 84-91. System overclock. Admin thumb password required to access this fu function. Admin password. Platypus party house. Seriously, kid. Shush! A password accepted. Did, did. Running protocol call. W warning. Internal power subsource reaching unsafe temperatures. It won't be long now. Bucket, do you have any last words? Command unknown, please. I have been on this earth for centuries. I have lost the first for friends I had ever known and desired to join them since the day I lost them. However, my time with all of you occasionally brought me the same feelings I experienced so not long, long ago. While I bemoaned my time with you all, I was happy to, to have met you all. Oh, Bucket. Internal temperature re reaching critical le levels. Explosion imminent. Retreat to a safe di distance. Bucket. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, come here, Johnny. Uh, Bucket. I'm gonna miss you, you weirdo. Hello. <laughs> this chunk of internal components are all that remains in Bucket. Would you like to keep it, Jonathan? Yeah. Johnny, I'm sorry, but we can't stay here. We gotta get out of here before it's blown to hell. Yes. Let's flee while we still can. Keep going, everybody. Just keep following the red line out of here. This facility is significantly larger than I expected. Thankfully, the builders saw fit to create a simple means of navigation. Uh, tell me about it. <sighs> no. Yeah. Look ahead! Some of Macklin's super mutants still fighting the Dashwoods. And the Dashwoods are killing the shit out of them! Hell yeah! Alright, we're almost home free. Hello! But there's a lot of laser fire. What about it? The Dashwoods don't typically use laser weaponry. And they don't have that much power armor. Oh, oh shit! I don't understand. Dashwoods didn't partner with them at all. Unless the General clued them in on his way here. Hello? Yeah, shit. It's the Brotherhood of Steel. All enemies eliminated, Paladin. Not all of them. Look over there. Ah, shit. Halt abominations. Let your hostages go and we'll grant you a swift death. We're not hostages. And we're not going anywhere. Step away from the freaks, miss. You'll be safe with us. They're not freaks. They're our friends! Please, we're all with the Dashwoods, and we just finished killing the Super Mutant's commander. I don't think they're listening, Johnny. Hey! You want them? You're gonna have to go through us! Uh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nobody else needs to die, alright? Please, let us talk with your commanding officer. We'll sort all of this out. Shut the hell up, subhuman! If you were to die protecting these abominations, then I'll gladly oblige. Stand down, Knight. All of you, lower your weapons. Uh, Paladin? Knight Kennedy, Knight Barlow, you take the rest of our squad and continue to clear the complex of hostiles. Initiate Wood, Initiate Taylor, you two stay with me. Stand down, civilians. My initiates and I are going to escort you out and take you back to your allies. Why should we trust you? Because I owe you that much, at least. 
Wait a second. I knew you sounded familiar. You were with, uh, Scribe Lanning and that one guy Shobon beat the shit out of. Well, I'll be damned! It really is you! Yes. Now, soldiers, you've been given your orders. Carry them out. Yes, sir! This was not at all how I thought that situation would resolve itself. Yeah, tell me about it. All right. Let's get you all out of here. What is the Brotherhood doing here? When you encountered my allies and I, we had just finished investigating reports on super mutants in this area. When we returned and reports to Elder Mason, he put together an effort to eliminate the threat and mobilized a fleet of vertebrates to bring us in. What about the explosions we experienced earlier? Yeah, wasn't this place being bombed? A group of your mercenary friends were bombarding mutants on the mountainside with mortar fire. They only stopped recently. So... You mean we had enough time to try and figure out how to get Bucket out of that vat? Oh no... 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 Oh, Johnny... I'm so sorry... No, it's okay. Even if we had been able to get Bucket out of there, I don't even know where I would begin cleaning the FEV out of his systems without exposing myself. Even then, it's highly likely the damage was irreversible. Now what about that chunk of metal you brought back? The detonation seems to have burned off whatever FEV had been on it. Still, I'm holding on to it with my prosthetic hand until I can be certain. So, you said you owed us earlier. What do you mean? To be more specific, I owe you, Doctor. I was told that I would have died if it hadn't been for your intervention. I owe you my life. Oh! <laughs> well, I'm a doctor. Saving lives is what I do. Yeah, though I think your night friend would disagree. That's... It's a long way out. And I don't want to risk alerting any remaining adversaries. Let's keep the chatter to a minimum. Ah, there's that beautiful night sky. A refreshing sight indeed. Were we really in there that long? We ran around for a while and it was already getting late. I guess fighting to survive a war is a decent excuse for losing track of time. Hey, there's a group of Dashwoods. Hey, over here! I trust you can make it from here. I have to get back to my squad. Doctor? Yeah? Thank you again for saving my life. My children would have grown up without their father if it wasn't for you. So on their behalf, as well, thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Stay out of trouble, guy. And you as well. Ah, and you, ghoul. Lanning sends his regards. Heh. <laughs> well, send him mine when you see him next. <laughs> now goodbye. Hey, it's the radio show group. Did you just come out of the enemy complex? How the hell did you end up there? It's a long story. Glad to see you're alright, Holtz. How's the battle going? Let's walk and talk. My team and I'll escort you all to the medics. Looks like you've been through the ringer. We're still dealing with clusters of super mutants. But we haven't spotted any behemoths since Colonel Grimm's snipers finished off the last two. Where have you all been? We were unable to regroup with our units and chased a Nightkin officer into the complex. After some issues, we confronted Macklin himself and managed to kill him and drain a vat of his FEV. Did you just casually toss out that you killed the enemy leader? Yeah! He killed the ever-loving shit out of him! Crushed his head with his bare hands! Well, the general will be pleased to hear that. Let's, uh, let's pick up the pace, shall we? There's a lot of patients. Do we have a head count yet? We were decimated. That surprise attack killed at least a tenth of our troops. Overall, we don't have a final count, but we've estimated that a third of our numbers are dead, more injured, and both numbers keep climbing as we recover bodies. Jeez. They all fought well, standing for what they believe in. There are few better ways to die. There are no good ways to die. Just less worse ways. Hello. I'm fine! Uh, my injuries have already been dealt with! Focus on the rest of the injured! Huh? Hey, Major Walsh! Ho ho ho! You're alive! <laughs> Where'd you find him, Holtz? 
Coming out of the mountain complex, ma'am. They were escorted by the Brotherhood of Steel. According to them, they managed to kill the enemy leader. Whoa! You, you managed to kill Macklin? Yes, I did. With help. And you managed to make it out alive? Most of us. Whoa! This is fantastic news! <laughs> oh! Well, the general will want to hear about this. After the surgery. What happened to the general? Oh, his leg was broken and trapped under his mole rat mount. Despite the first aid given to him, uh, necrosis has already set in. They're, they're amputating his leg. But he'll live. However, uh, you all should come with me. I, uh, I don't know how much longer he has. Who do you mean? Davy. Uh, mm. Let's go, Holtz. Good work. Spread the word that Macklin is dead. And keep looking for survivors. Keep your eyes out for any other holdouts as well. Yes, ma'am. What's wrong with Sterling? He and his unit defended the general after he was injured. In the middle of the fight, a suicide bomber charged in and... Uh, Davy was caught in the blast. He has bird wounds to 80% of his body, multiple broken bones, and ruptured organs. The medics tried what they could, but they don't think he'll make it through the night. No. Mm-hmm. No. Not Sterling, too. Hello? Can. Can we see him? That's where we're heading now. Let's make haste, then. Major Walsh. Glad you're here. How is he? He's awake, but, oh, he doesn't have long. We're doing what we can to make him comfortable. Can we talk to him? Of course. It's been an honor fighting alongside you, Major. Guys? I'm so glad you made it. Hey, Badger Boy. Donnie. Major Sterling, can you hear me? Crispit. Crispit, I hear you. Who. Who else is here? We're here, Major. Shoban, Atlas, Dave, and myself. Bucket didn't make it. Sterling, I'm. I'm glad to see you again. Sterling, we did it. We killed Macklin. He's finally dead, and his army isn't far from being crushed altogether. That's... That's fantastic. I wish... I wish I could have been there. I, I wish I could see Station Hill... One last time. (laughs) Hello? Save your strength, Sterling. You never know. No. I can... I can feel it. Listen, I... I want to thank you all. Y'all saved my life. Back in Minnesota. If it weren't for all of you, I'd I'd be rotting to death back there. You all gave me a second chance, and I can't uh, I can't thank y'all enough. I, I wish it didn't I wish it didn't hurt so bad, but I, but I know 
I don't have any more regrets. And that's, that's because of y'all. I'll, I'll see y'all later. Yeah, Sterling. We'll see you later. <laughs> Goodbye, S Sterling. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I need it too. Come here. <laughs> At ease, Major. <laughs> Goodbye, Davy. I love you. See you on the flip side, brother. <laughs> Hello. G goodbye. Morning, Johnny. Shoban. Good morning, Crispy. I see you've had your wounds tended to. How do you all feel? <sighs> Exhausted. Same. I do have some good news, though. Oh yeah? What's up? The first piece of good news. I found Pendle Tiny. I left him in the shop tent and he managed to find solid cover. I found him on the way here. Hello, everyone. Lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> hey! Glad you made it, little dude! Why, thank you. I'm very glad to see you alive as well. <laughs> oh, you're too cute! And in more good news, Lieutenant Colonel Tinsmith and I looked at Bucket's remains and were able to remove all of the components and remove any traces of the FEV. The components are still damaged, but I'll keep looking at them once I've got time. I managed to recover his hard drives and his processor, so if any of them were to have Bucket, those would be the parts. That's great! Glad to get a bit of good news. How are things with the medical team, Shoban? Alive or dead, everybody is accounted for. We're still treating the injured. Uh, a lot of them aren't going to make it. Those centaur bites are awful. Uh, a lot of people are going to die from those alone. I heard the general surgery went well, and Colonel Grimm was just released after pulling half a pound of lead out of him. Oh, yeah. Tinsmith told me about that. She's relieved, especially since she was the one who carried the colonel to the medics. Well, Grimm would be dead without her. I hope the colonel knows that. Hell, Miller even made it through the battle. Guess what his injuries were like. <laughs> Go on, guess. Rolled ankle. Broken hand. Headache from sneezing too hard. Hello? Yeah, how'd you guys know? Ah. <sighs> Did any of you think we'd be here, right now, alive after all of this? I could only hope. Of course. I knew I would arise victorious in the fight against Macklin. <laughs> Hello. It's only been like one, two, three, four months since I met you weirdos. <laughs> I never saw anything like this coming. Right? Hell, we built and lost Station Hill, got captured by Cutler, and escaped with you, Shoban. We just killed Macklin. It's been... Ooh. One hell of a year. It's only been a year. And you condensed it so much. Remember Little Drink? I wonder how Tammy is doing. If I had to deal with that hag of a sheriff every day, I'd lose my mind. Garrett is finally dead as well. After our encounter with him in that forest... I had hopes to run into him again for a rematch. I'm glad I had the support in dealing with that craven worm. Oh, oh hello. Uh, hello. Yeah, I'm still not sorry that I smacked you with that frying pan, Dave. But I am glad that I met you. Oh, right. The Dashwoods got Station Hill's civilians out of the vault they were locked inside of. I can't wait to see them again. We will. So, now what are you all going to do? I mean, your contracts are going to run out eventually. 
I'll continue to work alongside the Dashwoods. While the Dashwoods are attempting to finish off the stragglers from Macklin's army, there will be plenty who survive. Perhaps I can serve as a diplomat between Dashwoods and any civilized super mutants. Oh! Hello! 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 Colonel Grimm wants you with the sniper team? What did you two get so close? <laughs> Hello. You know, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after my contract runs out. Maybe I'll do some traveling. Go out and see the world, you know? Uh, think you might be up to joining me, Johnny? I would, but there's that message I received when Bucket updated. I managed to decode it, and it was addressed to me by name. Someone asked to meet me, and I want to look into that. Sounds like an adventure. Not gonna lie, I want to meet your mystery coder too. How about you, Crispy? I'm going back to Station Hill to help them rebuild and keep the show going. Hell, it's home after all. After 200 years, I finally found a cause and a family to keep living for. Who knows what the future might hold? Guess we'll just have to get there and see it, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Hello. And we will continue to move forward. Yeah, we will. So, who wants breakfast? Wasteland Active Radio was created, written, and produced by Z. Hagen and Jay Wilson. Brought to you by the Record Button Production Group. The roles of Crispy, Bucket, Donnie the Clown, Pendletiny, and Macklin are played by Mr. Wilson. The roles of Atlas, Dave, Major Sterling, Badger Boy, Private Smoker, Daring Dashwood Soldiers, and Macklin's Guard, and me, Tallest Eric, are played by Mr. Hagen. The roles of Johnny and a Brotherhood of Steel Knight are played by B. Seawick. And the roles of Shoban, Major Walsh, a Brotherhood of Steel Knight, Macklin's Guard, and the Dashwood Medic are played by Britt Agastall. Britt and their partner Mel both run another channel called Milbert Productions, home to all your nerdy and geeky entertainment needs. Special thanks to our guest this week, Mel Agastall as Captain Holtz. Brad Cloud Stacy as Colonel Grimm. Sean Scott as General James Roosevelt. You can find more of Sean's work through his website, vocalize.com, spelled V O K A L Y Z E. Danielle Baylor as Lieutenant Colonel Tinsmith. You can find more of Danielle's work through her Twitter page at who.me. That's dot spelled out, listeners. And Mike Netwick as Paladin Howard of the Brotherhood of Steel. Mike is also known on Twitch and other online channels as Ned on Air. Check him out for more great content. Also featuring C. Hageman and A. Boxwell as Daring Dashwood Soldiers. Wasteland Active Radio is set in the Fallout video game universe owned by Microsoft Studios and Bethesda Softworks. No copyright infringement is intended. Please support the official release. Thank you for listening, and thank you for supporting the Daring Dashwood Mercenary Company!